John, you managed to bring Sean Miller in yesterday. What are his qualities? He's a good finisher. Um, very good finisher. Uh, I think it's common knowledge that I try to get him in the summer. Um, it was a bit complicated. Um, anyway, uh, we, we, uh, we, we didn't actually complete that one in the summer. And uh, he signed for Coventry. So, uh, you know, I, I tried to get him before. We kept an eye on it. Um, it was going to be slightly more expensive, I think, uh, during the summer. Um, but we, we got him in here um, on loan. We obviously, um, we need, uh, we've needed another striker for a few weeks, just to put a little bit of pressure. Uh, Gavin and, um, and I have both done very well together, um, but obviously Matt's been, been injured. Uh, so, and we've missed him for quite a large part of our season. So um, it's always healthy to have four strikers uh, to choose from. So um, Matt's on his way back uh, from from uh, injury, so he'll be should be back soon with the first team. Um, but then Sean's in there, gives us something different. You know, he's he's not the tallest player, um, but he's dynamic. You know, he's 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 uh, a very good finisher, and I think he's the best finisher that Coventry City. Have. I've got at the moment, but um, you surprised therefore to get him? Yeah, a little bit. I'm surprised he, he hasn't played so many games for for Coventry this season. But you know, a bit like us, they've had a, a few problems scoring goals and, and creating chances more than anything. And um, so uh, Steve Presley's uh, changed the, the squad around a little bit. He's brought in a, a couple of strikers since, and um, obviously Sean's gone down the pecking order a little bit. But um, he comes to us, and as you tend to see with. Lion players, they, they always come in um, and just give everything a, a bit of a lift and um, healthy competition, that's what I like and uh, he, he obviously comes into the squad for the game against Chesterfield this weekend and what's going to be a, a, a very busy sort of Christmas period for us as well so he's got five games um, during his first 28 days um, and six if you include the Sussex Cup as well, you know, which um, obviously I'm going to put a strong team out for that uh, next Wednesday. So, um, yeah, delighted to have him here. I know you've been busy over the last few days trying to add to the squad. It's not been possible, but I mean, it's only a month now until the next transfer window opens. So, the squad can evolve later in the season, can't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. And, and you know, January is, is always a big, big time um, for everybody. Um, whether you're in the Premier League and you're spending 20, 30, 40 million pounds uh, to try and. Uh, gain a, a Champions League spot well for us uh, in League One it's exactly the same you know uh, come January it's a, it's a good time for us to um, have a, a sort of a mini overhaul to change things around we've uh, still obviously got five players uh, on the transfer list um, that everyone's aware of everyone knows that um, you know we're looking to do some business and, and clubs like us you know you, you, I say clubs like us you saw uh, in League One yesterday there was a lot of movement um, some of the, the big boys, I call them, in our league, um, uh, uh, have been able to go out and take players on loan from championship clubs on big salaries. Uh, we can't quite enter into that market, but um, certainly during January, we'll, we'll be looking to, to improve. We're always trying to, to get better and, um, and obviously uh, make sure that we're, we're playing uh, League One football again next season. On to Chesterfield tomorrow. They've started well, haven't they, this season after promotion, which tends to happen. You get that bounce always. when you come up, doesn't it? Yeah, always, Bruce. You know, they come up with a tremendous momentum. Uh, us ourselves, you know, a couple of years ago when we came into League One, you come into it and, and the momentum of the previous season keeps you going and uh, you tend to have good, a good start. Uh, both they and Fleetwood started particularly well this season and Chesterfield and Fleetwood were in the, in the top six. Uh, for a lot of the uh, early uh, part of the season um, they've stuttered a little bit of late I think they've had one, one win in the last seven um, but they are a good football team and they're very well organised obviously I know Paul Cook uh, done a terrific job uh, before he went into Chesterfield and since he's gone in there uh, obviously got promotion last season and um, they'll be a tough nut to crack they've got the League One's highest goal scorer at the moment in uh, Owen Doyle so uh, he's somebody that we'll need to keep quiet tomorrow um, but it'll be a good football match and I think um, certainly our boys are, are keyed up for it looking forward to it We are five unbeaten let's not forget I know four yep. of those have been draws it'd be nice to turn one of them into, into three points tomorrow wouldn't it? Yeah well the last 12 league games we've lost three matches and uh, I've asked a few people that question and uh, in the last few days and it's, 
it's raised a few eyebrows, you know. Is it only three, you know? Uh, things are, are not quite as bad as uh, we possibly uh, thought at the time. And uh, although we haven't, um, uh, we've only won three out of 12, um, we've, we've drawn six of those games. So, um, and those draws really could have been victories or should have been victories, which would have given us a, a much better outlook at the moment. But um, I'm, I'm quite pleased the fact that, um, you know, five games unbeaten in the league, we want to keep that run going and uh, being at home tomorrow. And, you know, as I said last week, the, the support that the players got last week, we just had just over 2,000 last week and the support from, uh, from all, four, all three sides of the ground uh, was brilliant last week. And if we get that kind of support, tomorrow afternoon I'm sure the boys will be in uh, a great mood.